Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, I'm going to be introducing a brand new series that's going to start on this channel in 2018, and that's going to be how to develop your own jailbreak. So this will be uh, basically an in-depth video series and playlist on this channel covering how to develop a jailbreak for iOS based on some already patched exploits for an older iOS version. So essentially it's uh, to learn more about jailbreak development so that we can get more people in this community interested in sort of collaborating and developing jailbreaks together because obviously lately we've seen uh, a less frequent release in jailbreaks by the big hackers and uh, the last the last few developments with the iOS 11 jailbreak and iOS 10.3 jailbreak for 64-bit devices has all been down to other smaller names in the community all coming together so I thought this video series would be quite a good idea to hopefully inspire more people to get into this kind of thing so we'll be making a jailbreak for iOS 8.4.1 all the way up to 9.3.4 using the Pegasus exploits or the Pegasus bugs so these are also known as the Trident exploits and they're the two kernel exploits are the ones we're going to be focusing on in the video and uh, they were actually used in the Home Depot jailbreak for iOS 9.1 to 9.3.4 so you guys may have already used this jailbreak so it's nothing new the jailbreak is out there but we're essentially going to be recreating this jailbreak from scratch using our own code to exploit these same kernel bugs just to basically get more experience with real world iOS exploitation. So this video is just basically an introduction to show you guys what we'll be covering in the series, uh, what you'll need to prepare yourself with, and basically how it's all going to work. So first of all, some requirements if you do want to follow along with this video series. You're obviously going to need some basic programming knowledge uh, in C and C++. You're probably going to need some ARM assembly knowledge uh, for the lower level stuff when we start looking into kernel disassembly, although it's not really required until the last stage of the jailbreak. Uh, you're also going to need either Xcode or Theos installed so that you can actually uh, build and compile an application, the Jabric application we'll be making. And finally, of course, you will need an iOS device on one of the versions I mentioned. So from all the way from iOS 8.4.1 up to 9.3.4. That's the version these bugs are, are vulnerable to. So any other version, these bugs probably uh, are, have been patched. I'm not sure how low down these bugs go. I don't believe they're present in iOS 7. So you will need at least a device on iOS 8 uh, up until 9.3.4. So how exactly will this jailbreak work? Well, it's going to make use of the two main kernel exploits from the Pegasus bugs, as I already mentioned. So that is CVE 2016 4655 and 4656. So there's two kernel exploits, and uh, as I said, already supporting those versions. And uh, this is actually made possible due to the amazing write-ups by PsychUser and JN Doc. So these guys both did a write-up, a very detailed write-up on both of these bugs, showing, uh, first of all, JN Doc did one for OSX, so how these are exploited. And uh, he goes very uh, in-depth on how uh, how the vulnerabilities work and why why this all works. And he shows how to exploit this on uh, OSX. So I recommend reading through this uh, prior to watching this video series because this will explain it a lot more in-depth than I'm going to in the video. I'm not really going to be focusing on the underlying code of OS on serialized binary but um, I'll focus more on the exploitation stuff so if you want some background knowledge then go ahead and read this right up and uh, also so user did a similar post showing how to uh, basically gain uh, task for PID 0 uh, on iOS using these same bugs so it's slightly bit slightly different on iOS to exploit these um, but using these write-ups I've been able to basically understand these bugs myself and I've got some kind of working progress uh, jailbreak that I've been making for iOS 8.4.1 so uh, on the screen now you'll see this little app I've created known as Zygo Break and so far I've successfully exploited the first uh, kernel exploit to gain the ASLR slide so you can see there it leaks, a, it leaks an address from the kernel stack and it calculates the KSLR slide um, and allows us to basically defeat ASLR and then uh, it does cause a kernel panic due to, due to triggering a use after free bug, which I've currently not finished exploiting, although I've got sort of the code working. As you can see, it does crash the kernel. Um, but in this video series, we'll be going over all that, how this all works, how to write your own app that includes these exploits. And finally, we'll be covering how to actually uh, apply jailbreak patches and uh, installing packages and tweaks and stuff like that. So the series will probably be split into three parts, although each part may need to be split into separate videos depending on how long it takes me to cover each thing. But the first part will probably be covering CVE 2016-4655. So this is the kernel info leak. Uh, and it's due to an unchecked length of an OS number, which you understand what that means if you go ahead and read the write-up by uh, JN Doc. He explains it very well how this vulnerability occurs. And um, yeah, we'll be covering that. And we'll use that to leaks and bytes from the kernel stack calculate the kernel slide and therefore defeat KASLR which will allow us to then move on to the next stage and actually make use of the next exploit. 
If you have no idea what ASLR is or you don't know anything about exploitation, then I recommend obviously going to read his write up because he does explain this well, but also go and watch some of these previous videos I made on more beginner level exploit development uh, videos because these will uh, outline the basic concepts of exploit development so you sort of understand it when you go into actually developing a real world exploit for an iOS jailbreak. Anyway, so in the second part, we'll be covering the kernel used after free. And uh, this is caused due to a dangling pointer to a freed OS string object, which we can then manipulate and uh, use that to control the program counter and, and then execute a payload that will patch the kernel. So this is also explained in the write-up here in very in a lot of detail. So if you want to know how this actually works, then read through this. I'll leave the link in the description. And if you want more information about use after free vulnerabilities in general, there is a beginner-friendly video in this playlist. This one right here, the Pangu 9.0 to 9.1 UAF exploit explained. This will explain use after free vulnerabilities in a more beginner friendly way using uh, a sort of example application that you can do it with. So I recommend watching this first if you have no idea what UAF is. And finally, so the last part will cover the kernel patching. So this will show you guys how to build a ROP chain at that will execute and patch the kernel PMAP and then apply all the other standard jailbreak patches that you'd find in uh, public jailbreaks today. So things like the root file system remount, AMFI patch and all the other ones. So also we could possibly install Cydia at the end, uh, but that's not really the main focus of this series. It's more about the exploitation side of it. So that's pretty much the outline of what this video series will cover. Hopefully you guys are interested in this and hopefully it will be as educational as both of these write-ups have been to me because I wouldn't be able to do this without these two guys writing this and explaining how all this works. So go ahead and check this out if you want some background knowledge before I start this series. And um, I'll leave both links in the description as well as both of these guys' Twitter accounts so you can follow them. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great new year and I will see you next time.